All right, I'm on my way. He'll be landing momentarily. Cessna 46577 winds at Shelbyville uh, from the southwest at 12. Local traffic using runway 19 in Shelbyville. It's really exciting for me to be a part of this documentary about Ray Tube after his years of shying from the spotlight. He is a part of technological history and his impact on modern life is incalculable. He is a truly, truly brilliant individual. Ray, Ray's a fascinating fellow. He's seen so much, but he's, he's shown us so much. It's really a privilege to be given this opportunity, the opportunity to interview a person, someone like Mr. Tube. I'm here today with Mr. Ray Tube to discuss his life and legacy. Welcome, Ray. May I call you Ray? Why, certainly it's okay. It's an honor to have you here, Ray. Why don't we get started with you telling us a little bit about yourself? My name is Ray Tube. I was named after my father, and I was built in 1967 by the folks at the General Electric Company. Wow, that's quite a bit in television years, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is, but forgive me if I'm not precise. Of course, of course. You've seen a lot in that time, haven't you? Yes, sir. When I was young, I watched Mr. Armstrong and Mr. Aldrin step on the moon. Of course, there wasn't any TV on the moon. There have been hard times, too. Isn't that right? Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about color television and how it affected you? Completely unnecessary. You can already see in color. Uh-huh. So with the advent of plasma, LED, and LCD televisions, some have pronounced the traditional cathode ray tube television to be obsolete. What do you say to that? That's just, that's just not true. These youngsters have bulbs in them that burn out every few years and need replacing. Here, here I am for 10 bucks in the pawn shop. I know that the national analog to digital conversion, though not unexpected, was a heavy blow for TVs like yourself. I'll tell you, that is just blatant ageism coming from the FCC. It's a conspiracy. It's wrong. It's just a shame. It's just a damn shame. I'll still be around, you know. I'll just be at Larry's Pawn Shop waiting for y'all to come to your senses. When the world's ready to switch back to CRTs, once they realize what they're missing, then I'll consider coming back. <laughs> 